Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the third video in the set of videos where I show you how to use Closure Reports and AutoCAD Civil 3D, or use Closure Reports from AutoCAD Civil 3D to uh, write meets and bounds land descriptions. So, in the last video, we got our shell, worked on our shell here. We got the caption in, and we got the end notes in down here at the bottom. And uh, now we're going to go in and actually start working on the body of the description, and we need to describe our POB. And as I mentioned in the last video, my POB is going to be right here at this uh, end of curve, begin of curve point. And I'm starting on the design line. And uh, what I will eventually do, I'm not going to do it in this video, but I'll eventually tie this design line out to a couple of local property corners and maybe a cores or two so that other surveyors can find it. Uh, but we're not we're not going to do that today in this video. So we're just going to make a really simple point of beginning here. We're going to say uh, beginning at a point on the uh, let's see how do we want to describe this beginning at a point on the south boundary of the. Um, parcel described by this document. So that's all I'm going to say, beginning at a, at a point. Okay. And then we'll say, then we're going to have our first course. Okay. And like I said, we're going to explain this in a, in a little more detail. Um, we're going to qualify this point a little bit. We might, maybe we'll do that in another video, but so we're off, we're off to the races. <laughs> all right. So the reason I think this needs some some more description is because uh, this isn't very helpful to other surveyors. This is going to be a hard point to find. Uh, so we want we want to help some other surveyors get to that point. So we'll do that. We'll do that in a minute. Okay. Then I have a template that I use for all my body calls in a description that aren't curves. So I'm going to just type that in so we can use it over and over. So I like to say then leaving. Okay, and I'm going to put three X's there. Uh, so then leaving along. Okay, then we have bearing and distance to. Okay, so this is my template. And what we want to do is we want to replace the stuff that's in X's and the BD with the bearing and distance. But this is the template. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it down here in case we lose it. And we'll put that in red so we remember to get rid of it. Okay. Now, when I have more than one course along a common line, I will do a series of calls. Uh, but in this case, uh, in this case, we don't. We are going to run. Uh, we've got two courses, one to this. We're going. We need to call out this old line here, and then we're going to have another call across. Okay, and I may not have done that in my closure, so let's see what we got down here. Yeah, I go all the way, uh, I go all the way across. So we actually need to split this up. So we're going to pull this distance out here. Because we want to, oop, we want to pull to this old line here. So let's just do that with a dimension. And I should have done this in my boundary design drawing. I should have had this split. Yeah, it doesn't want to pull those up. We'll flatten those real quick. Okay, so we're going to go 165.85 is our first call to this old line. So we're going to say thence, and I'm going to copy this bearing and distance. So we're going northwest. Okay. We're going to say along said south boundary. So that's this south boundary of the new parcel. Okay. Whoop. Put that in the wrong spot. Okay. We don't have a leaving call on this. You could say leaving, then leaving the point of beginning, but that's somewhat redundant. So I don't put that in. So no leaving call on that one. So we say then, then along said boundary. Then we want our bearing and distance. Oop. 
So we're gonna say 165.85 feet. Okay, and we go what? We go two. So what's our two call? We wanna call out that old line. So to the east boundary of said parcel number one. So what I'm doing here when I say said is I'm just calling out to this parcel number one as described in that map. Okay, so there's our first call, pretty simple. Okay, and then we're gonna just use that same pattern down below here. We're gonna say then, um, we're gonna say continuing, continuing along said south boundary. Okay, and I'm, I'm using continuing because it's my second course along that boundary. Then it's continuing along said south boundary, that's the boundary of the new parcel. Bearing and distance, got some extra spaces there we'll get rid of. Okay, and we want to go to what? To the east boundary of said parcel number one. Okay, so I've come now, I've come along this line now, course one, course two, I'm at the east boundary of this parcel number one. Okay, but this is also Nagley Road, so I want to call that out because I think it's helpful to the people reading the land description. So I'm going to say just say and, so I'm adding a two call, a composite two call to the east boundary of said parcel number one and the oh, let's see here. You know, I was going to I was going to add a call here, but I'm I'm not going to do that. And I'll tell you why. So I was going to call Nagley Road, but I realized the city has taken some land there as an easement, and I don't want there to be confusion. Um, I don't I don't want to shorten my description by calling to the easement. I want to go all the way to the fee boundary. So I'm going to leave it as it is, and we're going to call the east boundary of sub parcel number one without a reference to the road. Then I just do a period. Okay. Then we're going to start our next course. So we're going to say then. Okay. Now we're not continuing anymore. Okay. Um, but we are we are uh, leaving, so we're going to say then leaving the south said south boundary. So we're leaving the south boundary of the here and described parcel, and we're going to go northeast. One hundred seventy-seven point five nine feet. Oh, we need our along call. Sorry. Then it's leaving the said south boundary along. That's why it's good to use that template. Along the. Uh, this is going to be the west boundary of said parcel number one. Bearing and distance. And then what are we going to? So we got to keep going back to our drawing to make sure we get our calls right. So it's 177 to this point right here, which is the north boundary of that old parcel. Okay, so we're going to say we want to call that out. So 177.59 feet to the north boundary of said parcel number one. Okay, that's a course. Then we're going to say then... Okay, no leaving call this time. So then we're going to say then continuing. Nope, we're not on the west boundary anymore. So then we're going to say, so new call here. New along call. We're not on the west boundary anymore of parcel one. Now this course is on the west boundary of parcel two. So we want to clarify that. And let's uh, use our template because that way I will quit missing stuff. Okay. So we're so no leaving call this time. So we're going to say then along the west boundary of parcel 2. We want to say said of said parcel 2. That again that said that term said pulls us back up here to refer to this map. Okay, so we're going to go said parcel 2, then we've got this bearing and distance. Okay, and where, where are we going? 
So this course ends to the north boundary of parcel 2. So the north boundary of said parcel 2. Okay. We're going to do these next three till we get to the curve, then we'll do that in another video. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to copy that right there so I don't have to keep scrolling down to the bottom of the page. Okay, so then we leave. What are we leaving? We're leaving the then, then leaving the west boundary of said parcel two. Okay, and what are we going along? Along the north boundary of said parcel two. Okay, bearing a distance right here. So bearing a distance to what? Let's go back to our drawing. We go down two, and we're going to call this the easterly boundary of parcel two. So we're going to say two, the easterly boundary of said parcel two. Now this next one, this next set of calls, you'll notice uh, sorry on this next set of calls you'll notice I've got a straight segment a curve a straight segment a curve a straight segment and a and a portion of a curve so we've got five or six segments all along this line. So that's when I do a list. Just makes it easier for the reader. So here I'm gonna say, uh, this is gonna be a little bit special, so I'm gonna drop that down. We're gonna say then, leaving the north boundary of said parcel two. And I'm gonna say along the east boundary of said parcel 2 the following courses and then we're going to do a numbered list and the reason I do that is then you don't have to keep repeating this call for the east boundary of parcel 2 so it makes your description a little more concise okay so then we got to figure out what do we do, what do we do here All right, and I might have goofed here. We go 121.89 to the north boundary. Okay, and then this is our actually our bearing and distance call here. Okay, so this is our, uh, our first call along that east boundary is this course that's 4110. That's this line right here, 4110. Okay, so we're going to just number that. And we don't even have to say then or along or any of that other jazz. We just say the bearing and the distance. Because these controlling calls here apply to all the courses in the list. Okay, so we start that. That's course one. Then we have a curve. Now, curves are special. So I'm going to stop this video. We're at 15 minutes. That's longer than I like to go. And uh, we'll finish writing this uh, list here along the east boundary with a couple curves in it.